Now we will do a bit of theoretical study, study of a new concept uh, in C that is pointers, pointers that is P O I N T E R S, pointers. What is this pointer? For that I will firstly explain to you how a number is stored in a computer. Within a computer, how do you store a number? Say when we are writing int a or maybe int a equal to 56, we are writing or we are writing int a then a equal to 56, whatever. But this 56 gets stored within the computer, it gets stored within the computer. How does this 56 get stored within the computer? Computer consists of something called memory, all of you know that. Memory means say this is one certain location of the memory, this is maybe the certain next location of the memory, say this is the next location of the memory. So you can think like this that in the computer there are several such locations in which variables are stored. So like this there are several such locations of memory if I continue like this say 1, 2, 3 dot 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 and so on. So many locations of memory where numbers are stored within the computer. So say when we are saying 56 maybe 56 is stored within some of the locations of the memory or maybe not here in some other location say over here 56 is stored in between the memory anywhere but how? How is 56 stored? It is stored in a binary format that is we can think like this that 56 you write it in some bits of zeros and ones. How is it stored? How is a, a number decimal number uh, stored in the form of a binary? See it is stored in form of bits 0 as zeros and ones within the computer memory. So here also within the computer memory this 56 is stored in the form of binary. 56 if you convert it to binary how does it look like? It looks like somewhat like this 1, 1, then 0, then 1 again, then 0, then 0. This is how 56 looks like. I think you understand this is how it is stored. So uh, you can ask me how, how, we, how have I converted this 56 to a binary format somewhat like this, how is it possible, how could I convert it or maybe it is something else but I want to show, you want to ask, my, ask me that how this 56 I have converted to binary. See for that you will have to think like this that if you go like this say 1 then say 2, then say 4, then say 8, do you understand what I am doing? 8, 4, 2, 1, then say 16, I have just taken, I am multiplying by 2, say 1, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16 and so on. Like when you are storing in a form of decimal, when it is stored in the form of decimal, what do you do? You think like this ones, tens, hundreds like 1, then 10, then say 100, this is how it is a number you think of, then 1000, this is how you think of, how? Because it is decimal, so 1 into 10, 10, 10 into 10, 100, 100 into 10, 1000. So when I am thinking of a number 5634, you know that you write like this 5600. 34, so 3 tens, 4 ones, this is how you store the number 5634. But that is when it is decimal, 1, 10, 100, 1000, you are taking all multiples of 10. Binary means 0 and 1, you do not have from 0 to, do not have the range from 0 to 9, you only have 0 and 1, 2 digits, 2 digits, 0 and 1. That is why we will be using this 2 as the base, 1 into 2. 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16, like that, multiples of 2, in this way the weights will increase. So 56, 
How do you store 56? Say for 56, after 16, what will come? 32. Is not it so? After 32, what will come? 64. Is not it so? I think you understand. In this way, if I think, then next will be 128 and so on. Now, 56. What is the biggest this uh, 2 to the power something maybe 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. See all these are 2 to the power something. This is 2 to the power of 0, 1. 2 to the power of 1, 2. 2 to the power of 2, 4. 2 to the power of 3, 8. 2 to the power of 4, 16. 2 to the power of 5, 32. 2 to the power of 6, 64. 2 to the power of 7, 128. So 56, what is the biggest 2 to the power of something fitting into it? See 128 does not fit in 56. 64 does not fit in 56, 32, yes, it fits in 56, so a 1. So once I fit 32 within 56, I am remaining with 24 because 56, I have fit in 32, so a 1. So we are remaining with how much? 56 minus 32, 24 which I need to fit, 24, so will a 16 fit? Yes, it will 1. How much am I remaining with? 8. 24, 16 means 8 is remaining. So, one more 1 in 8. So, there is no other space. I have fit in everything. This is 0. This is 0. This is 0. Check out how. 32 plus 16, 48 plus 8, 56. So, this is how you write 56. I wrote it a little bit wrongly when I had written, uh, I, I wrote it orally. I did, did a little bit of mistake, but it is 111000. This is how you fit 56 or you write 56. I want to give you a few more examples so that the things become very clear to you how you store numbers within memory. This is how you store bits 0 and 1, binary digits or bits 0 and 1. So, say sup suppose I write int a equal to int a equal to 77, then how do you store 77? Once again, you can write as much as you can, even you can start after 128 is 256. You can write 256 also. However, if I think of like, think from 128, 128, then say 64, then say 32, then say 16, then say 8 then 4, then 2, then 1, suppose 77. Now, does 128 fit? Answer is no, 128 does not fit in 77, but 64 does, so a 1. So, if I fit 64, I am left with 13, 77 means I am left with 13, 32 will it fit within 13? No, 0. 16 will it fit within 13? No, 0. But 8 will fit within 13. So, a 1. I am remaining with 5. Will a 4 fit? Yes, it will. Will a 2 fit? After fitting 4, how, how much am I left with? 1. So, will a 2 fit? No. Will a 1 fit? Yes. So, check out what? 64. I am fitting in firstly 64. Remaining with 13. So, 32 does not fit. 16 does not fit within 13. But 8 fits within 13. I am remaining with 5. So, 4 fits within 5, yes, but I am remaining with 1. So, 2 does not fit, but a 1 fit, fits. So, how do you write 77? You write 77 as 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. In the same way, when I am continuing, if I just think, if I continue, say int a, sorry, int a equal to, suppose here you write, not 77, but say 227, then, then if you continue, see, before 128 will come 256, then will come 128, then will come 64, then will come 32, then 16, then 8, then 4, then 2, then 1. So, if you think of it, 227, will 256 fit within 227? No, still no. But 128 will. And I will be remaining with how much? I will be remaining with 99. 227 I need to represent. So, for representing 227, firstly 128 will fit. 
how much am i remaining with i am remaining with 99 so 64 yes will fit one so i am remaining with i was remaining with 99 now i have fit in 64 i am remaining with 35 so yes 32 will fit i am remaining with 3 16 does not fit remaining with 3 8 does not fit remaining with 3 4 does not fit remaining with 3 yes 2 fits i am remaining with 1 so yes a 1 so this is how you represent 227 check out how 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 this is how you represent numbers now if you remember do you remember i told you so many times that in c the lowest number is minus 32768 the highest number of integer is 32767 do you know why because an integer maximum place maximum size of an integer can be 16 bits bits means binary digit 1 and 0 when you are saying 1 and 0 it is called bits bits means binary digits binary mean 1 and 0 so binary digits are only 1 and 0 nothing else so an integer can be maximum of 16 bits 16 bits means if you now start writing from 1 check out 16 bits means 1 2 2 bits then 4 3 bits then 8 that is 4 bits then 16 5 bits then 32 6 bits then 64 7 bits check out what one positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 in this way you continue 128 8 bits then 256 Nine bits, then five hundred and twelve. After two fifty six into two is five hundred and twelve. After five hundred and twelve is one zero two four. So how many positions have you written till now? Say one zero two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. You have got sixteen positions maximum. So one zero two four. After one zero two four comes two zero four eight. After two zero four eight comes how much? After two zero four eight comes four zero nine six. Is not it so? Four zero nine six. So after four zero nine six comes eight one nine two. Check out once more. How many uh, bits you have already used? One two three four five six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I repeat: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is not it so? Eleven. Is not it so? Eleven. Then twelve. Then thirteen. Then fourteen. In this way, how many bits? Sixteen maximum. So one, six. Three next is one six three eight four. Is not it so? So check out how many bits I have already used. You see yourself. See one, one, two, then three, then four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. in this way you have already done 15 bits now suppose you are given one more bit one more so how much will it fit 32768 but that is not used why not because one more bit is used for representing sign sign means is it plus is it minus to represent that sign one more bit is used so 16 bits Sign means positive or negative, plus or minus. And how we say that? If it is minus, you use one. If it is plus, you use uh, zero. So plus means you represent it by zero. Minus means you represent it by one. Now I mean to say minus three two seven six eight to three two seven six seven. Maximum this many are used. Now three two seven six seven. How will you fit it? See, it is the maximum number which can fit. Why? One six three eight three eight four. Yes, it fits within what three two seven six seven. How much you are remaining with? You are remaining with. Check out one six three eight three. 
3, 1, 6, 3, 8, 4, 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, you have to fit. You have already used 1, 6, 3, 8, 4. How much are you remaining with? You are remaining with 1, 6, 3, 8, 3. So yes, 8, 1, 9, 2 will fit. 1, 6, 3, 8, 3, 8, 1, 9, 2 already fit. You are remaining with 8, 1, 9, 1. Check out 1, 6, 3, 8, 3 minus 8, 1, 9, 2 is 8, 1, 9, 1. 4, 0, 9, 6 you can fit. 8191 minus 4096 is 4095. So 4095, yes, 2048 fits. How much you are remaining with? 2047. 2048, you are remaining with 4095. 2048, you have fit, already fitted. So 2047 remaining. 1024 fits. 2047 remaining. 1024 already fits. 1023 remaining. 512. 1023 remaining, 512 fitted, 511 remaining. So one more one, 256. 511 was remaining, 256 fitted, 255 remaining. So 128 fits. 255 was remaining, 128 fitted, you are remaining with 127. So 64. 127 was remaining, 64 fitted, you are remaining with 63. So 32. So 32, 63 fitted, 63 had to be fitted, 32 fitted, so 31 remaining, 16. Now 15 remaining, out of 31, 16 fitted, so 15 remaining. 1, 8 fitted, 7 remaining. 4 fitted, 3 remaining. 3 remaining, 2 fitted, 1 remaining, 1 fitted. So the entire number has been represented. And what is the number? All ones, 15 ones and a sign bit which is 0 to indicate that it is a positive number. So see, if now you are told fit 32768, can you fit? You cannot fit because there is no more bits left. It is only 16 bits that an integer is allowed to. So you check out why 16 bits? Because each memory location is of 8 bits each. And if you use two memory locations of 8 bits each, then total how many bits you are using up? You are using up 16 bits. And 16 bits means how many memory location? Two memory location. So whenever you are writing int a, two memory locations are occupied. Any integer you, you specify, it indicates that you are using up two memory locations. Now suppose int a equal to 56 has been given. What does that mean? 56 has to be stored. 56 is 111000. 56 was 111000. How do you write it? See, 111000 is how many bits? Check out 6 bits. But all numbers of integers are 16 bits. So 10 zeros prior to it. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 10 zeros. Then 111. 0, 0, 0. Now 16 bits. Count it. See? 16 bits. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8. Plus 1, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 1, 0 extra in front indicating that it is the sign bit. Positive 0, negative 1. You find out how 56 is stored? This is how 56 is stored in these two bits of memory, two bytes of memory location or two memory locations. In two memory locations, this is how 56 is stored. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is how it is stored. So say, suppose somebody says int a equal to 77. Int a equal to 77. How do you store 77? 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So 7, 7 bits are used up. 3 and 4, 7 bits used up. So 16 bits, so 9 more bits, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 9 bits, then 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Check out, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 1. So check out how, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bits over here, and the 0 at the front indicating it is a positive number. So 77, this is how you store 77 in two digits, in two memory locations. So any integer, point of saying all these thing things are, any integer picks up two memory locations. Now what is a pointer? What is the meaning of a pointer? Pointer means 
see all these memory locations have some addresses how do you represent an address say addresses are represented like this f f sorry f f f 4 maybe this is one address then f f f 5 is the next address see 4 then 5 these are hexadecimal numbers you will understand later later what is the meaning of hexadecimal numbers but these are addresses this is how addresses are kept f f f 4 is an address in this address f f f 4 any something is stored f f f 5 the next memory location the next memory location is f f f 6 the next memory location is f f f 7 and so on these are addresses of the memory locations where the values are stored and each memory location is of how many bits 8 bits so any integer is stored in how many bits 16 bits so when i write say int a equal to 32767 seven, or maybe a little less int a equal to 32765 uh, not 32767 seven, a little lesser so when we are writing int a equal to 32765 you remember you are starting with how much you are starting with this number 16384 you are starting with this 16384 so 16384 is over here 1 you are remaining with how much 16384 means you are remaining with 16381 so again 8192 fits 8192 fits then again who, who will fit after 8192 4096 will fit 2048 will fit is not it so 1024 will fit 512 will fit and so on everything will fit is not it so so 16384 fits 8192 fits 4096 fits 2048 fits 1024 fits 512 fits 256 fits 128 fits 64 fits 32 fits 16 fits 8 fits now you are having 32765 so you have to calculate very quickly that amongst the remaining digits which digits fit you have to very quickly calculate 32765 if it is 32765 then yes this 16384 1 will be there 81 sorry 8192 1 will be there 16384 32765 how much is remaining I am quickly telling you how, how the numbers are stored 32765 16384 fitted how much remaining you are remaining with 16381 16381 so 8192 fitted how much is remaining 8192 fitted how much is remaining out of 16381 8189 is remaining check out 8189 so if you fit 4096 how much is remaining 4093 will be remaining 4093 is not so now if you fit 2048 how much will be remaining after 2048 2045 will be remaining 2045 so yes 1024 will fit so after 1024 how much will be remaining 1021 will be remaining so 512 will be fitting so after 512 how much will be remaining 509 will be remaining is not it so so 256 will be fitting after 256 how much will be remaining 253 will be remaining so 128 will fit but after 128 how much will be remaining 125 will be remaining 125 will be remaining so 64 will fit after 64 how much will be remaining 61 will be remaining 32 will fit 61 will remain 32 will fit so after 32 how much is remaining 29 is remaining 16 will fit after i'm not writing anymore 29 will remaining so 16 fits 13 remains 8 fits 5 remains 4 fits so 1 remains 2 does not fit and 1 remains 1 fits so check out 32765 is this so if you have to write 32765 then using these many bits how is it represented the sign bit is 0 because it is a positive number now after that in the last two digits you see it is 0 1 
but prior to that all zeros 0 0 0 0 0 0 oh, sorry all ones sorry not zeros 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and so on so check out how many bits have already you have taken 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 four more bits are needed so 1 1 1 1 check out how many bits now 1 0 for the positive number it's a positive number so 0 0 indicates sign bits now i'm remaining with 1 so, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So when you are saying int a equal to 3, 2, 7, 6, 5, it is stored within these two memory locations or maybe these two memory locations using how many bits? 8 plus 8, 16 bits. So you are writing one number in int a equal to 3, 2, 7, 6, 5. But how many memory locations are it is being stored within? It is being stored within two memory locations. Why? 8 bits per memory locations. 8 bits plus 8 bits, 16 bits. Any integer is stored within the computer memory using how many bits? 16 bits. So these 16 bits are stored within the two memory locations. This is how any digit is stored in binary format. It is stored in this way. Using these two memory locations, this number has been stored. These two memory locations have been used for that or will be used for that. Similarly, if you use another integer, another two memory locations will be used and so on. Now, what I want to tell you is the meaning of a pointer. Say, when you are writing int a equal to 5, this 5 is being stored within two memory locations. How? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and so on. The last three digits are 1, 0, 1, 4, 2, 1. Check out 5 is 4, 2, 1. So, 4 is 1, 2 is 0, 1 is 1. Is not it so? 5. 5, how is it stored? If you take the last four digits, 8, 4, 2, 1, 8 is not used, 4 is used once, you are remaining with how much? 1, so 1 over here, 0 over here, 1, 0, 1. So this is how 5 is stored. Prepared to that, all bits are how much? All bits are zeros. Is not it so? All bits prior to this are zeros. And so on, 16 bits are stored. This is how 5 is stored. Is not it so? You got it? So that means 5 is stored using 16 bits in two memory locations. Using two memory locations, 5 is stored. 16 bits, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 in, in this way, maybe uh, 13 bits, then 1, 0, 1, so 16 bits in total. Now what is a pointer? Suppose now I write int, check out what? Star b. Different, not int b int star b. What does that mean? It means, it means b is a pointer. It is not an integer. It is a pointer to an integer. Pointer to an integer means b cannot contain an integer. b is a pointer. A pointer means b can store an address. Address means, address means this. F, F, F4, F, F, F5, F, F, F6, F, F, F7 and so on, the addresses, one after the other, the addresses. B can store that. So, B can store an address, an address of a memory location, which can contain an integer. B is a pointer, in star B means, B is a pointer to an integer. That means what? That means B contains an address which contains an integer. Are you getting it? B is a pointer to an integer. B can contain an address. What address? Addresses like this FFF4, FFF5, FFF6, FFF7. In this way, B can contain address. What can those addresses contain? Those addresses will contain integer. Suppose you would have written float star b, what does that mean? Suppose you write float star c, what does that mean? That means c is a pointer to a floating point variable. What does that mean? That means again c contains an 
integer which contains a floating point variable so this means if you write float star c c will again contain ff f4 ff f5 ff6 something like this the address but that address will contain what that address will contain floating point variable we will take floating point variable pointer later if we constrain right now with only pointers to integer that is addresses which in turn can contain floating point integer variables so what does that mean b can contain something like ff4 ff5 ff6 and so on so say suppose i write a piece of code somewhat like this say int a equal to 5 then if i write in sorry very sorry suppose i write int a equal to 5 then suppose i write int star b that means a contains an integer b contains the contains a pointer pointer means an address an address means what address that address which can contain an integer that means if a is an integer b can definitely contain an address which contains a it may contain an address int a means a is an integer int star b means b is not an integer b is an address but what sort of address an address which can contain integer so can b contain that address which contains a yes int a equal to 5 means 5 may be stored in ff4 and ff5 two bytes two 8 bit two memory locations int a equal to 5 but if you write int star b can b contain ff4 yes ff4 contains what an integer so b may contain ff4 here i introduce you this ampersand you remember when we were scanning we you always used ampersand a ampersand b and so on that ampersand now what does ampersand mean ampersand means address of sorry spelling mistake address of ampersand means address of it is an address of it is it means as as simple as that so we can write b is equal to a can we no we cannot wrong b equal to a is wrong it is wrong because b is not an integer if we write b equal to a it is wrong because b is not an integer b cannot contain 5 5 is an integer b is not an integer b cannot contain 5 it is wrong but b can contain address of a check out what a is an integer b is a pointer to an integer that is b is an address of an integer so if b is an address of an integer you can write b equal to address of a that is the address of the a variable can be stored within b is not so so here if we write printf ampersand d a what will be outputted you know it will output something like 5 but suppose suppose if you write print f percent percent d a because a is 5 it will print 5 now suppose you want to print b so if you write percent d b what do you expect as an output b is not an integer you are printing b what do you expect as an output you expect that b should output an address because b is after all an address b is containing the address of a so something like ff4 ff5 ff6 something like this should be printed but one problem is there you are printing b as a decimal number that is not allowed b is not a decimal number b is a pointer b is an address b is not a decimal number like a float you cannot print by percent d you have to print by percent f so similarly b is a pointer a pointer variable you cannot store uh, you cannot print as percent d what do you have to print it with percent p now what will be printed something like b b is what b is an address so you are printing percent b you are printing that pointer variable p so you are expecting something like ff4 is not it so 
now in the same way if you want to print ampersand a ampersand a you expect the same output like fff4 you expect the same output like fff4 because a is the address of a ampersand a is the address of a when you are writing int a equal to 5 when you are writing int a equal to 5 what is happening a is being stored in a certain address like fff4 using two addresses two memory locations int a equal to 5 a is being stored so when you are printing a you are printing 5 because a is containing 5 but when you are printing b b contains the address of a so fff4 is printed but if you print directly the address of a ampersand a then also you expect fff4 should be printed is not it so let me check once can we comment out this whole portion that we have learned till now this whole portion i have used to explain or to teach you what is the meaning of pointer if i comment out this whole portion now this whole portion and write a piece of code like the one i have written over there say i mean to say int a equal to 5 and i use a pointer variable in star b it means b is an address b is not an integer b is an address address to it is an address star b it is an address but that address should contain integer nothing else so definitely a being an integer b can contain the address of a so say suppose i write over here b equal to ampersand a i should not be wrong to write that and then if i print f person d followed by a little bit of gap then again person p then again a little bit of gap sorry percent p and i replace the first person d that means i want to print an integer what can i print in this place a what should be printed 5 but if i print person p that is an address we can print b b is an address b contains address of what b contains address of a so something should be there then you print ampersand a so this two should be same this two should be same b is b you have already stored the address of a within b so if you print b it should print the address of a if you print ampersand a it directly prints the address of a let me check out what it outputs does it output something like i expect int a equal to 5 so a 5 should be printed b some address like a something some address should be printed ampersand a again that same address should be printed let me check out once let me run alt r enter see 5 fff4 fff4 i told you int a equal to 5 you have printed a so 5 has been printed you have printed b b contains the address of a fff4 has been printed then again fff4 have been printed because ampersand a was printed now i ask you one simple thing can can b plus 1 be computed like if you print a plus 1 what i mean to say is suppose now instead of this i again print person d i print a plus 1 what should be printed a is how much a is 5 so a plus 1 is how much 6 so you are printing person d means what are you printing you are printing 6 so a plus 1 can be printed now question is can you print b plus 1 can you print b plus 1 what is b b is the address of a address of a means something like fff4 if you print b plus 1 then fff5 should be printed is it is it so See, I am asking you, you please try to answer yourself. Say print a person D, A, A is 5, so 5 is printed. Person P, so P, I am printing B in, in place of that. So B is containing the address of A. A is 5, address of A is stored in FFF4. So you are printing B means you are printing FFF4, person P, you are printing FFF4. Address of A, the same FFF4 should be printed a is 5 a plus 1 6 should be printed over here person d 
Now B plus 1, B is FFF4. So something like FFF5 should be printed. Let me check out percent P I need to print B plus 1 also. B is FFF4. But B plus 1, if it, even if it is FFF5, still it is an address. So the next address FFF5 should be printed. I mean to say B is FFF4. A was containing 5 over here. But B is containing the address of A that is FFF4. If I print B plus 1, FFF5 should be printed. That is also an address. So that should also be printed by person P, B plus 1. So I should be having A5. So my output should be something like this. Check out what I am trying to say. The address should be like this. A5. Then B. B is the address of A, FFF4. Then ampersand A. Again the address of A, same thing, FFF4. Then A plus 1, A is an integer, A plus 1 is also an integer, so I have, see I have printed it as percent D, A is 5, I have printed A plus 1, so 5 plus 1 it should print 6. Then B plus 1, should not it print FFF5, so that is also an address, B is FFF4, B plus 1 is FFF5, that is also an address, so I have printed it per percent P, but will it print FFF5? Let me check out once, I am expecting the output 5. FFF4, FFF4, 6, FFF5. Let's see whether it prints this. Alt R, enter. C, 5. 5 is absolutely correct. A, B, address of A, FFF4. Address of A directly, FFF4. A plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6 is absolutely fine. But B plus 1, not FFF5, but FFF6. I had incremented it by 1, but it has got incremented by 2. It has been incremented not by 1 but by 2. Why? Because, because B is an address of an integer. B is the address of an integer. An integer takes how many memory locations? 2. So when you are saying B plus 1, C language understands, C programming language understands that you are telling the compiler or telling the program to go to the next memory location. Remember, B is a memory location, FFF4. You are writing B plus 1 means you are instructing the C program to go to the next memory location. The next memory location that can contain another number is not FFF5 but FFF6 because FFF4 and FFF5 togetherly is containing the 5. It is two memory locations that A or 5 is taking. So there are two memory locations. So when you are saying B plus 1, you are asking it to go to the next memory location. The next memory location which can contain another number is not FFF5 but FFF6 because FFF5 already contains the previous number itself. So because it is B plus 1, it is incrementing by 2. So a pointer variable or a pointer to an integer increments by 2 when you are writing B plus 1. Had you written B plus 2? it would have gone to FFF8. Check out. FFF8 because you have incremented by 2 means from FFF4 you are saying go to 2 memory locations next. 2 memory locations next means FFF4 and FFF5 contains one integer. So FFF6 and FFF7 can contain another integer. So the next to that is FFF8. So any pointer increments by 2. Are you getting it? Now over here, I will introduce to you another thing. What is that? Star, like star is used to declare a pointer. In star B means you are declaring a pointer. In star is declaration of a pointer. So in star B means B is a pointer to an integer or B can contain an address of an integer. But star can also be used as another operator. Star means content of like ampersand is address of star is content of that is if you write star b it means b is an in, b is a pointer star b means content of that memory location which is contained in b that is i can write somewhat like this a or uh, say c is equal to star b where in C you can declare, so please check out what I meant to say, in A equal to 5, you declare C. Now say suppose you write C equal to star B, 
see now you ch check out what it means a is 5 you have declared another integer c in star b means b is a pointer we can contain an address address of what an address of an integer an address where there can be an integer now b equal to ampersand a means a's address a is contained in some memory location you are storing that memory location in b so b is an address star b means content of the memory location so in our example a is 5 5 is stored in fff4 b equal to ampersand a so b contains fff4 star b means content of fff4 what is the content of fff4 5 so what will c contain c will contain 5 do you understand the meaning of star star is the reverse of ampersand ampersand means address of c means content of like ampersand a a was 5 address of 5 a was 5 address of 5 has been stored in b now star b means content of that address fff4 so what is that 5 you are storing in c so c will contain what c will contain 5 is not it so you can check out over here say suppose over here you again write percent d and instead of this you write now you write c what will it print it will print 5 see what alt r enter c 5 c also contains 5 now suppose if i print c plus 1 then then it will print 6 normally 6 because a plus 1 and c plus 1 are same c after all contains the content of b say int a equal to 5 so over here 5 is contained in a in star b b is a pointer to an integer b equal to ampersand a so b starts containing the address of a fff4 c equal to star b c equal to content of fff4 what is the content of fff4 content of fff4 is 5 is not it so so star b so c plus 1 c plus 1 is 6 now suppose over here instead of c plus 1 now suddenly i write star b what will it print b is fff4 what is the content of fff4 again content of fff4 is 5 so it will again print 5 you check out percent d again 5 will be printed alt r enter sorry 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 some error statement missing oh okay okay here i did not comment out this portion let me comment this let me get rid of this this i had written to explain to you so if i run this program again see 5 is printed star b address b is an address content of b content of b is what 5 now you can check out all possibilities suppose now i print star b plus 1 star b is how much 5 so 5 plus 1 is how much 6 so this what is this this is an integer star b b is fff4 star b is content of fff4 what is that 5 5 plus 1 is how much 6 what is that a decimal number so print that percent d print it what will be printed 6 star b plus 1 now i will not write all this together to make you explain easily i will take one one example at a time and you will try to and you will try to answer within your mind what will be the output say over here i print say a what should be printed a is 5 so what should be printed percent d i should print it as percent d percent d a so 5 should be printed alt r enter yes 5 is printed if i print a plus 1 a plus 1 means a is 5 a plus 1 is 6 it is an integer so again percent d should be used alt r enter yes 6 now suppose i print ampersand a ampersand a a is 5 ampersand a address of a so not d p address of a is fff4 so address of a fff4 should be printed let's print alt r enter yes fff4 is printed go for ampersand a plus 1 ampersand a plus 1 what is that ampersand a is fff4 plus 1 you are adding with a memory location address 
So adding means it is an address also. So yes, person P. FFF4 plus 1 is FFF6. Alter, enter. Check out. Yes, FFF6. Now what if I write ampersand A plus 1, it is okay. But suppose I write only B. B is address of A. So FFF4 again. So let me run it. Person P is absolutely fine because B is FFF4. Yes, FFF4. B plus 1. What is that? FFF6. Yes, B is FFF4 plus 1. Next to next one, it increments by 2 pointer. It is any pointer to an integer. So FFF6 absolutely fine. Now suppose I print star B. What is star B? B is FFF4. Star B is content of FFF4. What is that? 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So how should I print it? D. Alter. Enter. Yes, 6. But what if I write like this? Star B plus 1. This is odd. See what happens. Star B plus 1. What is this? B is FFF4. Plus 1 is FFF6. I am trying to print the content of FFF6. Do I know, the, know that? Do I know the content of FFF6? No, I do not know the content of FFF6. Because B was containing FFF4. B was containing the address of A. A is 5. So I am printing, I am holding the content of, I am holding the address of A. FFF4. So that was fine. FFF4's content is 5. But B plus 1, FFF4 plus 1, FFF6, content of FFF6 is some integer also which I have not initialized. So if I print, what will it print? It will print 0. We do not know what is the content of that. We do not know. Now what is C? C is an integer. If you have to print C, if you have to print C, what will it print? It will print 5. So 5 is absolutely fine, percent D is absolutely fine because C is the content of FFF4 that is 5. Let me run it. Yes, 5. If I print C plus 1, it should print 6. No problems with that. 6. What if I print ampersand C? Possible? C is an integer. I can print the address of that integer. Let me see where is C stored. C is a different integer. C is not A. C is a different integer, remember. So if C is a different integer, it is stored in a different memory location. I am trying to see which memory location is C stored in. So I am printing it as percent P, alter, enter. See FFF2 in another memory location. FFF4, it will take two by two memory locations. FFF2 and FFF3 can, can hold a different memory location C, can hold a different integer C. So FFF2 is holding C. Do you understand that? So in this way, you can use uh, integers and pointers. One last thing to end with. Do you remember when we write scanf, we use ampersand a. When you are scanning, you already always write like this percent d ampersand maybe a. Why do you write ampersand a? Because when you are scanning a value 5, you are scanning it within the memory location of a. Suppose you want to enter 5 within A. So when user is entering 5 within A, where are you storing 5? In the memory location where A is contained? When you are saying int A, when you are not saying int A equal to 5, when you are only saying int A. So when you are saying int A, some memory location FFF4 maybe is assigned to store A. FFF4 and FFF5 maybe is assigned to store what? is assigned to store A. So when you are scanning, what is user doing? User is entering a value. Maybe user is entering 8. But where will you store that 8? You will store that 8 in the memory location of A, in the address of A. So that 8 will be stored in FFF4 and FFF5. So you are telling the user, scan within the address of A. But when you print, you do not print the address of A. You print A itself. So very quickly this example, I will try to show you 
just to be very clear that what what is this canf and printf doing with this ampersand and when we not don't don't use this ampersand within percent within printf see what i am trying to say only i will take one variable a only one variable a sorry one variable a i will take int a now int a i will tell the user printf sorry 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 printf enter the value of a i will scan within where scan f percent d am percent a and what will i print i will print percent d only a you remember in scan we put am percent a because when you are scanning you are scanning the value of a in the address of a but when you are printing you are not printing the address of a you are printing it with printing the a itself suppose somebody gives you something where do you take it you just take a container you put in a container where to take it is not it so it's like that when the user is entering a you are giving him he giving him a container where to store that a ampersand a address of a you are giving it giving to him that you store this a within this address after that you print that a itself so when you run this program you tell center the value of a you enter 5 it prints 5 because ampersand a you are storing that a within 5 then you are printing the value of a if you print ampersand a within here then it will print fff4 because you are printing the address of a see this enter the value of a you are entering 5 but it is printing sorry not percent d percent p address is always printed by percent p otherwise it will print wrongly so you are printing you are entering 5 but it will output fff4 because you are at you are inputting ampersand a i believe you understand is not it so so this whole thing should be clear to you that how you deal with ampersand what is the meaning of a pointer once you have understood this we will do several several programs using pointers later on we will end this class over here you will take a, you will take breaks we will come back again with the next class but i will request you to study pointers study you can in the internet search for pointers go through some text but in my future lectures we will use this pointer relate this pointers with arrays and do several other easy examples with pointers also but in the next class thank you so much see you again thank you